Well, they replaced the bounce house with a uh, Ferris wheel, a big Ferris wheel, which was pretty wild to see. Um, bounce houses, just coming from the particular industry I work in, are very expensive, and the insurance, there's a whole shebang. Uh, I can it. imagine they're, the insurance on them. Pain, yeah, a pain in the dupa, so I could see that. Um, but as far as, like, the things that changed, I thought it was, it looked massive this year. I mean, like, I've gone before, but, like, this year just looked absolutely huge. Plus, they had all the esports things going on, mm-hmm. working with the, the Pittsburgh Knights, which was pretty neat to see that whole setup. Um, yeah, I, th- I think that was like the biggest thing to me was like it was huge and it looked huge. And so there's a shot of the Ferris wheel. It wasn't, it wasn't a Ferris wheel. It was one of those was, like with the the, the enclosed twi- twisting. The, yeah, because the cars flipped as they went around. And yeah. You couldn't have paid me to go, go it on there either way. So no. I mean, it's not like something I was going to be doing. <laughs> so that just doesn't do heights. <laughs> what was something else that was different? Uh, uh, well, something else that was different. Oh, gosh. Um, I think it was interesting because I, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to go last year. Mm-hmm. I did miss out in last year. Uh, but I feel like the console section just exploded mm-hmm. from the photos I saw last year to this yeah. year. And every everything, even like the mini consoles were there. There was like a Commodore 64 mini console, which was pretty cool to see. Um, but yeah, that, that section looked huge. I mean, you were over there for a while, I think, too, Sorg. Uh, yeah, I at least walked around over there mm-hmm. um, um, this year. Uh, and I usually take a tour through there, and and uh, it, it it was definitely big. The, the Dr. Mario tournament was impressive. I need to I need to talk to those guys. Uh, I know I know uh, the one guy um, uh, follows me on Twitter, so hello. Um, because they did a fun thing where they're playing NES Dr. Mario, and they um it, they cropped or or keyed out the background when you're playing two player, so, mm-hmm. and they had a webcam, just a Logitech webcam on top of the TV. And uh, you could see the people standing there if they stood in the right place on either side of the play area because you're taking the 4 3 Nintendo and putting it on a 16 screen. Oh, that's a really screen. good idea. And I was that's like, neat. dude, that's really cool. I want to know how they did that. But it was in the middle of the thing. I don't want to bother anybody. Um, really, the big thing for, I thought was the, the sponsors <laughs> a little bit. Yes. Like, yes. Uh, you know, the giant stage with Carvana and there was a, there was a uh, army, army esports tent and, 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 you know, there was like smile direct was there. Red Bull had a gaming lounge. I played a lot of street fighter five there, which led to me grabbing it on steam, unfortunately, uh, cause I don't have a PlayStation, but, um, you know, Crack it's and rum. What's that? I think it's Kraken. Is it rum? Oh yeah. Kraken was rum. there with a yeah, rum and a hideaway with, with, with like yard games and everything, I saw and, and a bar. I saw the yard games. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. So there was like a more like where he, there and there was definitely not like I didn't see even the indie companies that we know from the show there yeah. anymore. Uh, and I I maybe saw two booths of games that were just like who are these guys and it looked like some indie developer just getting started up. But it was really like it was like. It felt bigger because there were sponsors there with like, you know, their presentations, you know, mm-hmm. and everything. And then Carvana was all over the giant main stage, the giant main stage. Were they dispensing cars? <laughs> no, I was so mad. I was hoping I was like, if you're going to do this, you got to bring the car dispenser. Like, yeah, you gotta, right? You're going to commit. You gotta bring the we brought thing. the Ferris wheel. So, you know, um, like but no, it was it was it, it felt bigger. It, it, this is its fifth year. Um, and I barely even got over the Pimperg side, mm-hmm. really. And I was still finding games the way things were configured. It was a little more, it wasn't direct like rows, 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 like last year. Like it was kind of around everything in the middle. Oh. Um, so uh, the the music stage in the middle, I thought was, you can, didn't get to check out much of it because I don't think you were there while any of the music was playing. Mm-mm. No. So, but it was like more in the middle over by Toontown, or whatever mm-hmm. it's called, uh, Toontown World. That's always there every year. I told myself I was going to go and investigate and find out what that game was about, and I didn't get a chance to do it. Um, unfortunately, they I were doing a presentation like when we walked they, by. Yeah. By oh, oh yeah. Though, 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 there was like there was like a like a, a tune tune town, and I think I'm getting the name wrong of the game, but they had like a, a seminar <laughs> going Jeez. on about it. So like that was on the schedule, but um, uh, yeah, but, but most of my time was spent at the music stage. That was pretty cool. Um, uh, you know, Bit, Bit, Bit Brigade played. Two nights, guys. Two <laughs> nights. They played um, uh, Metroid the first night. Impressive. And then they played uh, Mega Man 3 the second night. So nice. and here's a little video if you're with us. There's the, the big crowd gathering to watch them play Mega Man 3. It was really awesome. It was really cool. It's always just 
great to kind of see that, especially after seeing like the small wizard world <laughs> the week before. <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to be there for a tech conference at the end of the month. So, and nice. plus like a, a, a business show that was like, looked really weak too, you know, yeah. about a month pickleball yeah. two ago and pickleball. I saw pickleball there by accident. So <laughs> it was great. Uh, it, it's one of the really cool spectacles that happens in this town. Right, Katie? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, lucky for me, I, I got to help with setup this year. Mm -hmm. I was part of Loden days, um, Monday, Tuesday, and just seeing how much work this group puts into it. And uh, I had one of the maps and, you know, figure out where everything was going. And it was so impressive. I mean, everything was just so impressive and they're so organized and they're just so good. It just mm. it's so much work. It's so awesome. So cool. 